The Condux fiber optic cable puller sets the standard for safe, efficient pulling of fiber optic cable. Condux fiber optic cable pullers offer load cell torque input for the most accurate tension measuring available. Unlike most hydraulic measuring systems, the Condux system is not affected by changes in temperature, component age, and power source. The puller also features a variable speed foot control and manual flow control valve for optimum pulling speed control. Install Pull Tape To begin the fiber optic cable installation process, first install the pull tape. Using a duct rodder or a similar tool, rod the inner duct. Once rotted, attach pull tape to rotter. Pull the tape into the conduit. Once the pull tape is in place, set fiber optic quadrant block or appropriate device for the specific pulling situation. Then attach the fiber optic cable to the pull tape using a pulling grip. Puller Setup Next, mount the Condux fiber optic cable puller on an appropriately sized square mounting post. Caution! Lift the fiber optic cable puller only with the proper equipment or sufficient manpower. Improper lifting techniques may result in personal injury or property damage. Attach the quick connect couplings to the power supply. Note, the fiber optic cable puller's hydraulic system uses quick connect couplings. Keep all connections clean to avoid contamination and possible system failure. Connect the hydraulic supply hoses to the foot control valve assembly. Ensure the pressure hose from the power source goes to the inlet of the foot control valve. Connect the hoses from the foot control valve assembly to the puller. The supply hose assembly has four identical male couplings and can be attached between the puller and foot control valve assembly in any orientation. Warning! Escaping fluids under pressure can penetrate the skin and cause serious personal injury. Position the foot control and attach the capstan. The foot control valve assembly controls the speed and direction of rotation of the capstan. The further the foot pedal is pushed down, the faster the puller turns. Position the foot control valve at least 3 to 4 feet from the capstan's feet offside. Position the foot control in the best possible location for safety and proper operation. Attach the capstan to the puller's shaft by aligning the capstan slots with the shaft's pins. Push the capstan onto the shaft until it stops, then rotate clockwise until it stops. Pull outward to lock the capstan into position. Make sure the shaft locking pins are visible through the holes in the capstan hub. Move the puller into its final position. The pull line will wrap best on the capstan if the capstan is angled about 10 degrees away from the pull line. This will allow the line to walk down the side of the capstan and push the previous wraps to the side. Place four or more side-by-side -side wraps of the pull tape around the capstan in the direction of rotation. Do not wrap more than one layer of pull line on the capstan. Start the hydraulic power source. Pulling operations. Slowly press the foot control pedal to check pulling direction and ensure hydraulic hoses are connected properly. 
Note, switching the quick connect couplings on one end of the hose assembly between the puller and the foot control valve assembly will reverse the direction of capstan rotation. Resume pulling. Remove any slack or excess pull line before increasing the puller's speed. Attend the line coming off the capstan to avoid any tangles and keep some tension on the line so that the capstan grips the pull line. Never wrap the line around your hand, arm, foot, or leg and always be prepared to release the line. Stand at least 3 to 4 feet away and at a 20 degree angle from the capstan. Wear gloves to avoid rope burns and abrasions. Caution. Stand to the side of the pull line to prevent injury in case it breaks. Always wear protective equipment, hard hat, safety glasses, safety shoes, and work gloves. Warning. Stay clear of the rotating capstan. Severe personal injury or death could result from entanglement with it or the pull line. Follow these safety precautions. Do not wrap the pull line around a hand, arm, foot, or leg. Always be ready to release the pull line. Important. Proper cable pulling lubrication may be necessary to ensure safe and successful fiber optic cable installation. Contact Conducts International for pulling lubricant specifications. When the tension limit control is on, the puller will stop pulling if the cable tension exceeds the programmed limit of the electronic control box. Release the foot pedal and the cable or pull line tension will slowly release. Slowly reverse the puller to release cable or pull line tension by lifting up on the foot pedal. Many pull lines build up tension from stretching. Never approach or service a pull line under tension. Always release tension before proceeding. When the electronically programmed tension overload limit is set higher than the adjustable relief valve, the puller will stop when the relief valve setting is reached. If the pulling operation exceeds the electronic tension limit or relief valve setting, correct the cause for high tension. Electronic Control System The electronic control box power switch should be in the off position before connecting or disconnecting any cords. Connect the sensing cord from the electronic control box to the load cell mounted on the puller. The six-pin female connector on the end of the cord mates with the male receptacle located on the load cell. Tighten the connector collar over the threaded portion of the receptacle. Note, before making any connections, ensure the receptacle is free of dirt and moisture. Connect the valve control cord from the electronic control box to the foot control valve assembly. The two-pin female connector on the end of the cord mates with the male receptacle located on the side of the foot control valve assembly. Tighten the connector collar over the threaded portion of the receptacle. The two-pin connector on the front panel of the electronic control box supplies electrical power to the electronic control box. This power can come from a vehicle's power point or its lighter socket. The electronic control box requires 12-volt DC power for proper operation. Connect one of the power cords to the two-pin connector on the front panel of the electronic control box. Connect the other end of the power cord to a 12-volt DC power source. Danger. The main power switch supplies power to the indicator and chart recorder. When a power supply is connected to the electronic control box, portions of it are energized. Follow all electrical equipment precautions. Note: Always disconnect the power cord when the electronic control box is not in use. When the power cord is connected to the electronic control box, it energizes portions of the control box. If the power cord is left attached when the control box is not in use, the control box will drain the power supply. Caution. Damage to cable may result from excessive pulling forces. Use precautions to safeguard against overload conditions. Figure 8 Cable In bi-directional pulling applications, it may be necessary to figure 8 the fiber optic cable. Figure 8 cable in a clear area free from debris or obstructions.
For more information on the Conduct's fiber optic cable puller, contact Conduct's International today.